so now our environment is activated all the required libraries are, are installed and just we need to uh, run the script so before that we need to go inside the scripts folder so do cd script slash and press enter and you are inside the scripts folder now inside our scripts folder we have main.py you can go over here and check okay main.py so if i do python main dot pi you can see it's saying database initialized okay so this is like a starting point okay so i have put a very minimalistic options over there only four options if you are a student you can log in if yeah, you can register if you are a librarian you can log in and you can register okay very simple options nothing like too much fancy so now you can see it is showing database initialized so now why it is showing database initialized okay i'll show you that part so it's it's saying press enter to exit or you can enter your option okay so if i press enter it will exit fine i'll use control l to clear the screen now what i will do i will come to the data inside the data there are some data that i have used if i open any one of these files so you can see these are the data that i have used the borrow data so let's delete this data let's see what happens if this data is not present now if i open the script okay if i run python main.py okay you can see database initialized and your data folder got created again so if you if you open the data you can see all the files that were present they got created again okay and one more thing uh, these are all csv files i have already made a, a whole playlist on csv file if you want to watch that you can definitely go and check it out but if there is no database completely empty okay it is automatically going to create the folder for you and the files for you okay you don't have to worry now let me keep this over here the folder structure and my terminal over here so that if any changes i do you, you are able to see it and yes the, it, i'll change it i'll change the layout based upon the content if there is more content i will make it wider or lesser anyways not not to be concerned about these things so now you can see the data there is no data if i open any of the files it is completely empty there is nothing right so if i uh, now go and do register okay since there is no data we should not be able to log in but let's let's try to log in okay in this video i will show you the librarian part so let's try to log in with librarian so anyway anyhow we don't have the id or the password let's see what happens if i give something i'll give it my name i'll give a password as pass and you can see it's saying uh authentication failed remaining attempt is five okay i have put remaining attempt also you can play with that so remaining attempt means like uh, if you are not able to authenticate for more than five times the program is going to break automatically so for example if i am not able to if i give another wrong id maybe i'll give some other name maybe uh j u e l okay and the password as pass or something you can see authentication failed remaining attempts for if you continue to do it like that uh, the program is going to break okay so this is something that i have put it uh, from my end now i know it's very difficult to look down towards the screen but uh, i'll i'll do something so that you always look up okay so this is the point where we are now so there is no data present in our library and database right so obviously it won't be able to log in so we need to register first so now for example there are four options if you give any wrong option let's suppose you give five which is not present if you give it is saying enter the mentioned choices 
remaining attempts five okay if you uh, keep pressing wrong options like maybe six maybe seven it's you can see the counter is going backwards right maybe eight maybe nine maybe ten see the program broke out okay this is something i wanted to show you Control l clear and we'll again run python main.py now i just wanted to register the librarian so that i am able to log in now if i do register i have to give a name i'll give my name okay asking for password i'll give password as p a s s pass and re-enter your password i will give p a s s okay and if i come so you can see it is saying librarian saved successfully it is giving us the librarian id and the librarian name okay so it is generating the librarian id by itself you don't have to give id it, is, it will it will tell you the librarian id and the librarian name and the librarian is supposed to remember this librarian id okay that it, it generated if you are not able to remember this then obviously you can't log in so i will remember this lb0001 okay and you have to remember the name i mean, you have to remember the id and the password okay the name is not that important over here now uh, we are able to successfully register now here while registering i'll show you let's suppose uh, i'll give an example your name as maybe i will give uh, a name as maybe uh, i'm not getting a good name maybe flint okay don't know why this came up but flint enter your password i will give p a s s and see when i type my password it is coming in terms of x x x but i am typing alphabets only so how this is coming uh, it is only because of that pw input that i in, uh, made you install okay we we install the requirements of txt file but inside that requirements of txt file we have this pw input okay so if you use that module uh, you will see this x x kind of a thing it looks a little bit cool like when you enter password no one should be able to see what you are typing so it's like a sort of a little uh, touch up that i gave so enter your password i give pass now re-enter your password so if i give something wrong maybe if i give uh maybe w o r d over here it's it is saying password not matching press enter to exit so it was not able to save the librarian because the password was not matching right and that's the uh, that's it for the registration part let's let's try one thing like if i go inside enter your name if i don't give any name if i don't give any password or even if i don't give anything it is saying that please enter a valid details press enter to continue okay so if you have to enter some kind of details right otherwise it won't be able to work so this kind of small small checks also i have put in so i have tried to resolve as many uh, uh, errors and uh, exceptions that i got i was able to resolve all the bugs that i was able to encounter hopefully there are no bugs anymore and if there is any bug and if you are able to find it out uh, do let me know in the comment section okay i have tried my level best to uh, reduce the bugs okay so now this was all about the registration part okay and in the next video i'll show you regarding the login part what all the functionalities that the librarian can do and uh, definitely we don't have any data currently over here i will copy back my data in the previous video i will show you all of this so for this video i'll end it over here if you found this video informative if you found this video uh, helpful for your project do press that like button and uh, in the upcoming video i'll talk about the, the login part and what all the functionalities the librarian is able to do so that's it for this video i'll see you in an upcoming awesome video